Hello and good morning everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody is well and feeling great. It's Monday. Monday, fun day. I think they say, I don't know if they say that shit. Who gives a fuck? But um, it's a great day. You're alive, you're able to do and move and all that good shit. First of all, I want to apologize to everybody. I know I haven't been there. Wait a minute. I'm chewing on my toenail. You know, you bite your uh, nail and chew it. It got stuck in my teeth. But anyway. Um, for the last five, two weeks, I haven't been here because I've been in the process. Bitch, done moved. As you can see from the scenery a little bit over here, it's a little different. Um, which took like so much. We'll talk about that on my Instagram. Please follow me on my Instagram at Real Seductive. Just like here, R-I-L-L, Seductive. We'll talk about it on Thursday. I'm there at, uh, at 8 p.m. Anyway, so then I want to talk about, um... Like, people thinking that they have ownership of a person or of a person's pussy or a person's dick. You know, I have heard this, like, from three separate occasions, like, in one week span. Like, just overhearing people's conversation and also having a diverse conversation with someone. And it was like, um... You know what I'm saying? If such and such dude, my man do this, I'm like, oh, this bitch, I'm going to kill that bitch. Like, I mean, I know they don't literally mean that, but just for the simple fact that you allow those words to come out your mouth, it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, first of all, the one thing that everybody needs to understand, which I think that a lot of people don't seem to understand, is that no one have no ownership over anyone. Whatever somebody want to do with their dick and their pussy, when they feel like doing it with their dick and their pussy, that's what they're going to do with it. Regardless if they with you or not. And, and then another thing that y'all always have so misconstrued is that people like to equate sex with love. Sex has nothing to do with love in a lot of cases. Now, when you are having, when you are having sex and love is involved, Oh my God, the, the results is just like overwhelming. You wake up like an array of sunshine. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? And even if you're not having sex, if, when you are having sex and love is not um, a part of the equation, you still can wake up like sunshine. You know what I'm saying? So um, women and men, stop thinking that you own someone because you do not like I said whatever they want to do what they want to do it and then like sex is so intimate not you don't necessarily know what your partner is actually really really into because they may be intimidated to tell you because you may be of small mind or maybe you don't think that they can open up to you you know because it's because it's intimate intimate means like it's personal it's just for them you know what I'm saying? And then they may not, like I said, they may not feel like they can share that with you. And honey, it's a lot of shit that y'all don't fucking don't be telling motherfuckers that they be into a me. That's why they be dibbling and dabbling doing this and doing that. Because they can't tell you. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about motherfuckers who try to deceive people with, um, I think that it's being kind of deceitful if you know that you are, um, uh, like to dibble and dabble, meaning on both sides of the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to fuck this, and you also want to fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Meaning same sex, that type of shit. But anyway, um, let me know. Have you ever heard someone who said that? And what were your thoughts if you heard someone say that? And I know that when they say it, they don't mean it literally, they, they, although I hope not. But I, for the most part, I really don't think people, they just say it figuratively, you know what I'm saying? They would just possibly be mad as hell. At least that's what I hope. That's what they would say. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what were your thoughts if you ever heard someone say that? Have you ever said that? And if so, um, why do you feel that way? Um, how do you feel about people who feel that way? Uh, please leave a comment. Please subscribe, y'all. I need some subscribers. I can't go live. They shut my live down, bitch. Can't go live. You know what I'm saying? I need a thousand. I've got like a hundred and something. If a hundred and something. I would appreciate if you just click that. That would be great. If you just leave a comment, I'll comment back. Because, you know, I got a small little community of motherfuckers who come and visit real every now and then. But listen, um, but thank you for those that do. I truly appreciate who you know that this is something I'm truly passionate about. And that we need to get the conversation talking about this shit, bitch. People don't like to talk about sex. Um... And truthfully and honestly, uh, so please subscribe, leave a comment, and please know that I have my first book out. It's called Quickie, Seven Short Erotic Stories. 
um, you can read when you fuck fuck by you read it's at your local uh, ebook retailer it's only an uh, ebook form you can also go to smash words dot com and you can read like one third of it for free one story uh there but i understand um when you go through like it's just a whole you don't even want all your motherfucking information but you know and you can also purchase it it's only a dollar ninety nine it's exotic erotic tales by real the book is called quickie and uh you also know that i'm a designer and a stylist they know my brand is real nice i sell some of my things on poshmark.com please go there and check out my closet which is r-i-l-l -L. nice everything whenever i say nice for real referring to me is always spelled like my name which is r-i-l-l -L. and uh there's another fucking thing that's just not coming out of my brain right now which is so fucking weird Oh, you know, I'm also an intimacy coach. How can I forget this shit? Uh, the name of my uh, company is called Seductive Bard. If you have a bachelorette party, girls make out event, uh, birthday party, how let your girl I come and make it so much more sexier. Um, yeah, you can email me for more information at realfashion at yahoo.com. I want to say thank you all so much for watching please like and share and share and like and all that good shit and subscribe like to say thank you and y'all have a fabulous fantastic day no life is worth living and living is worth life and i just like to say thank you so much you know i'm a king so yo you know the outcome old school hat